Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to look at modeling a couple of slides with and without extensions. I guess slides is something that needs a little more clarification. Playground slides, so a thing that a child would slide on. Um, I want to do a couple of these because they're good examples to show follow me and that sort of thing but there's limits to what follow me can do and we're gonna take a look at what those are uh, right now. All right, so I have here a platform and from this platform, I want a couple of slides. I want one, what I would call standard slide, right? It's gonna come like this, a little bit of flat and then it's gonna swoop down and then it's gonna level off right before it hits the ground. Um, when I do something like this, what I tend to do, I'm gonna to go to the middle of this platform here and I'm just gonna figure out you know, how far do I want this to slide? I think, what am, what's my overall height on this? This is six foot six. And I wanna say that I want it to come out, uh, we'll say eight feet. So there is my rise and the run of my slide. And then I'm gonna draw a little shape like this, just a flat surface. This flat surface then, I can say, okay, I wanna come over like, I don't know, like three inches. And then at the bottom, I wanna have, you know, a good, I don't know. I have no idea how slide mechanics work. I really don't know what I'm doing here, guys. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have it go like a little too too lengthy for the slide, and then we'll come out like 12 inches here at the end, not for like 24 inches. There we go. That looks like a good slide profile, right? If I look at that. I mean, I need to add some curves to it. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come in with a curve here and give it like that curve. And then up here, same thing, I'm gonna grab this. Um, I need to extend this line back to get a good curve. There we go, now I can curve like this, and now I can find that, that right, uh, there we go, tangent. All right, there we go. So that is what I would think I want the curve of my slide to be. I'm gonna grab that and weld it. And now I'm going to draw the profile of my slide. I'm just going to draw it here up on the flat. Um, I think an average slide is like a little over a foot wide. So let's say, let's go like eight inches this direction. And then we'll come up on the sides. Got like maybe a three inch tall, something like that. And then something like, like that. And then uh, I'm thinking this is going to be probably be like plastic. So I'm just going to draw a shape like that. And then again, I tend to, what I tend to do is I tend to draw, first I draw my uh, general shapes and then I come back afterwards and add my curves to it to get just that, uh, you know, get my profile. Some people draw a line, then draw a curve and then that kind of thing. For me, it's a little easier to rough out quickly uh, where my, um, it looks like that could work. Probably should have done a little more investigation on proper uh, slide shapes, but you know, planning, what's that about? Anyhow, so here I have my curve. Now I take that curve now and I'm gonna say, follow me with my shape. And there we go, we get a quick and easy slide. So you can see, even if my, my dimensions aren't perfect here, you still get the idea of how to do that. And I'm gonna take this just a step further um, this is probably where I should pause and test this to see if it's going to work, but I like, I like living on the edge with you guys. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go grab a standard arc. I'm going to click right here. I have this roll down like that. And then I'm going to grab the end of that. I'm gonna drop it. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this shape and this shape. I'm going to option copy it over here. Because what I want to do is I want to get a like something more pleasing than what I have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this. If I have to disconnect and I don't want to break geometry, I will copy it and then erase the original. And I'll take an edge back here, an edge down here, and grab all that. This, 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 again, weld follow me and click right here. Oops, somehow my, uh, uh, 
edges got unwelded. So I'll just re-weld that. There we go. Now I can grab this. Follow me with this. All right, so then we get this shape. I can take this now. See, the reason I had these go long, so I, I made this, rather than just the curve, I had it run long, because I want this extra lip here. Um, if I don't create that lip, then my uh, geometry won't line up correctly. So see, I have this little bit of overlap right here. I'm gonna grab this, make it a new group. I'm gonna grab it by this little, there, little corner right there, and that's what's actually gonna sit right here. There we go. Uh, if we wanna line it up a little better, I can slide it back like that, and that should still, looks beautiful. All right, so I could go through, uh, next step would be to grab these two, hopefully, let's see, let's actually check a solid group, not a solid group. Let's go into this real quick and see why this isn't a solid group. Because if it's a solid group, we can actually join the two pieces together with uh, a quick solid tool command. Um, anytime I have solids, and this is not a required step, but I do like making my stuff solid whenever possible. I can come into tools, say solid inspector, and just see what's going on here. Uh, it looks like we have a surface border. That means there's a hole in the mesh somewhere. And that is, oh, oh there we go. All right. Delete that and then run a new edge all the way down like that. I'm guessing with that. No, still not solid. It's a problem now. Uh, let's go back to tools, solid inspector. If you don't have solid inspector, uh, it is a free extension. We'll link it in the bottom. Fix that. There we go. Okay, now I got solid. So now I can actually grab these two and just go to tools, solid tools. All right, we'll just go to outer shell. That's a quick and easy one. And there we go. Now we got a solid slide. Boom, that one's done. Okay, for the second slide, I want to do a twisty slide over here on this side. Um, we've done videos in the past on how to make helixes by hand, but I want to go quick and easy, and this is beyond desktop, so we leverage whatever we can outside SketchUp, no problem. And I'm gonna use Curve Maker to draw a curve. Uh, this extension will draw all kinds of curves. I'm gonna stick, stick with a simple helix. Some of the stuff I don't even know what these are. I mean, this sine equation, I know that's a math words. Uh, I'm gonna stick with helix, because I know what that is, and I'm gonna click OK. All right, uh, in here, we're gonna do, we are gonna do one and a quarter turns. Um, I'm going to say I want to do like a, a four foot radius. This would be a big slide. Um, 24 sides per curve. The default for this is 36, but I like to jump to 24. 24 is the default for SketchUp for a, a circle. So I, I can work with that easier. Um, and then we're going to go clockwise. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it. A uh, height of a turn is four foot. So this is six foot six. So one and a quarter turns is going to give us a little bit of space above and below, which is perfect. So I'm going to click OK. And there we go. There's our turf. There's our curve. I'm going to take that, use the move handle to slide that over like that. Uh, I want this piece right here to kind of line up with the middle here. All right, let's see how that works. That looks pretty good. Um, this is a big slide. Uh, I guess I could have gone real tight and twisty, but I want to get the kids their money's worth. You know, let's make this thing, let's, let's have fun on here. I'm going to drop this to the ground. And then what we're gonna do here is the last part of this is gonna to have to go up to here. So I need something where it kinda, of, you know, that, that curve comes away and then starts the curve. That, that looks good, but not quite high enough. I need to move that kind of vertically a little bit. And then something more like that. Um, yeah, that looks like a gentle, acceptable curve. I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to explode it. Let me get rid of the little dot in the middle. And I'm going to grab both my edge and that uh, curve I just created, weld that. All right, now we need to make a we need to, to make a slide profile. So I'm going to do something similar to what I did before. Um, uh, I don't know, something like a little bit. It's going to be a little bit deeper because we're going to have to go, you know, because I'm going to have a little centripetal force is that the right force i'm gonna have some outward momentum on the child so here where i just have to worry about you know keeping them going straight here i want to keep them from falling out so we're gonna go a little bit uh wider a little deeper with our our slide something like that 
Um, let me actually bring this up a little. That looks that looks about right. And then uh, let's put an R or a circle right here. Uh, something like that. There we go. I'll take that and copy that over here. There we go. That looks like a pretty good shape for our slide. I'm going to double click here and then disconnect, deselect the bottom and the side so I can again weld. And there we go. Now I have a path and a profile. So again, I'm going to select the profile. I'm going to say follow me and I'm sorry, I'm going to select the path and then hit follow me and select the profile. Two P words, not interchangeable. And there we go. This child comes down. Yay. Uh oh, what's going on here? Okay, a, a couple things happen, right? It's hitting the pole. That's not good. That's not a good, a pole in the middle of the slide is not a good design option. The other thing is it kind of turns and even if this pole wasn't here, the pole is here is good because it's going to stop the child, but then it's going to fall on the ground. If it wasn't here, by the time we got about here, that the kid with any, any speed at all is going to shoot off this direction. Um, this is what Follow Me does. Follow Me attempts to make the profile stay normal to the path. And as it spins around an arc like this, it'll tend to curve. So I'm going to undo. Uh, let's fix both these problems. The first thing is let's grab our profile. Whoops. And I'm going to double click, make it a group temporarily because I want to take that geometry now and slide it over like that. I want it to be on the edge. We can, we can take both of these. And I'll, let's just leave right there for right now. Um, that's going to work. I'm going to explode that now. That's going to mean that it doesn't hit the pole because the, the shape will stay on the inside. The second thing for the follow me, I can't make follow me work any different than it does. So I can't have it follow the path, but I can use an extension. So what I'm going to do is select both the path and the profile. Then we go to extensions and click on upright extruder. Upright extruder is going to do the same thing the follow me does, but it's going to make sure that at every turn, this profile stays upright. That's the name. And there we go. Um, so you can see that works much better. Kid's going to stay inside of that. No problem. Um, it did for whatever it did invert the face. Not a big deal because I can triple click reverse face. And then I also make that a group. And with that, I can I can move that around then because it is just one piece. So I can come in here, slide that back to the middle. That should work just fine. And uh, and there we go. We got a couple of slides. One, the fast shoot down straight thing. And then two, we got this nice big twisty slide. Um, what I don't have is a way, I can actually, actually just grab this and just pull this out a little bit like that. Uh, and then we can re-soften and smooth that. Perfect. Um, we don't have a ladder. Maybe in my next next video, I got to draw a ladder because uh, I don't know how kids are going to get up here. I guess Teddy's just going to chuck them up on here and then probably need some handrails too. I don't know. The point of this was not playground safety. It was drawing slides and I feel pretty good about the slides we got drawn. So there you go. Um, just a couple of fun playground slides drawing that kind of thing. And then hopefully a handful of tips on using SketchUp, uh, both native tools and a couple of good extensions, three extensions in there actually. So we, we ended up, of course, using draw curve and upright extruder for that slide, but we also got a little bit of solid inspector in there too. So uh, I'll link to all of those down in the description below. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Did you learn something new? Are there any new tools or processes you hadn't thought of before? Uh, would you have gone about it a different way? Or best of all, do you have an idea for a video that we should make and haven't done yet? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when showing something you want to see. Thank you.